the text message that was sent, no signal in Yosemite or no service in Yosemite, um, that text message being sent there, again, that was where something is believed to have gone wrong during this cross-country. Hi, True Crime Alert family. This is the press conference. I thought I'd just bring you along. Let's watch it together. Is it Gabby that they found? We'll find out right now. Road trip. And so we have a, a multi-state investigation there and a multi-agency search going on there in Utah and Wyoming or has been going on in Utah and Wyoming. And then, of course, now we have the search efforts that are underway in Florida, in the Tampa Bay area, in rural, very rural Sarasota County, in Myakkahatchee. So we've got a lot going on here. But let's not forget what everybody wants to know the answer to, and that is, where is Gabby? Where Even earlier, when we, were when we were searching and showing you the search area in Florida for Brian Laundrie and showing you some of the search efforts that were currently underway at that time, everyone was asking, where is Gabby? I want to, I want people, I was, I'll sum up some comments, people were, say, were saying, I want to find Brian so that we can find Gabby. And so right now, no update in Florida, but we do, we do oh, no. have an update that you're about to see here on your screen here, folks. We'll go full screen as they do a white balance here, a full screen here. We will go full screen here the moment that the press conference gets underway. What we'll do then afterwards, after the press conference gets underway, or after the press conference concludes, we'll be here live to break down what we learned, what we know, what we still don't know. And uh, we'll have a conversation with you and we'll animate uh, com some of your comments here on screen. In the meantime here, folks, uh, I can take some of your hashtag HJB comments and, and questions here, but at the same time, I'm hesitant to do so because I know that the moment that we start taking your questions and your comments, someone's going to walk up to the podium. There they are. I'm just, look, this could be a mic check. Let's just listen in. I'm just going to talk into the mic. This is my check, my check, my check for New York. New York, mic check. Checking mics, checking levels from Wyoming. Control, just let me know. So clearly a mic check getting underway here, but anytime anyone steps up to the podium, I'm going to go full screen here on the touch screen, and we'll go live and we'll listen in. And the whole world will be able to listen in as to what this update is. As a reminder, we know that we're constantly engaging a new digital audience here, and News Nation's Brian Enton reporting that a body has been found. And the Teton County, Wyoming corner, that being Brent Blue, confirming to Brian Enton, again, follow him on News Nation, follow him on air and online. A body has been found, but the identity has not been revealed, and they won't say if it was a man or a woman. Let's let's break down let's break down some of the key questions that are going to be asked in this press conference. Give you a little bit of a primer here as to, uh, of, of of course, the first questions are going to be and and what will what we anticipate happening here is an announcement being made and then a question and answer period. And we hope to find out whether or not the body that was found here today during the search in Grand Teton National Park, whether or not. That was Gabby Petito, or based on, of course, preliminary results here, if they believe that to be Gabby Petito. At that point, then, questions could include how long uh, is Gabby believed to have been dead? How, what is the cause of death? Is there any evidence at the scene of where the body was recovered um, as to the cause of death? These are some of the questions that we're going to be asked again, provided that Authorities here announced that the body that they found, based on what they know at this time, is believed to be Gabby Petito. If that is the case, then those are the questions that are going to follow. Cause of, ca potential cause of death or preliminary uh, investigation cause of death. Um, how long they believe the body to be there. Wh what condition was the body in? Was there an attempt to cover up the body? Was there an attempt um, to, to conceal it? Um, was it found near where the van was, and, and this is new video that came in uh, a short time ago this afternoon, and of course we had to verify this video before it was something that we could, uh, we had to verify this video before it was something that we could bring on to WFLA now, but by now many of you have likely seen uh, this video. Let's see if we can animate it here on our screen. This video, mm -hmm. uh, this is courtesy of, and make sure I have this right, Jen Bethune. Red, White, and Bethune, big thank you to them for providing us with this video. And this is the video that they found 
um, on, and I want to make sure that I have the date here correct. Uh, August 27th is when they believe that this video was shot. And this is a massive clue. Now, based on the video here, the video shows us a, uh, what does the video show us? The video shows us a van here parked off. This, this is Grand Teton National Park. A video, uh, excuse me, a van here that was parked on the left side of the road here. Kind of an odd spot to be parked. People on Reddit and TikTok have been combing through this video to determine whether or not this is in fact, it's hard, you can't see too well if it's Florida plates, but trying to comb through and determine whether or not this is in fact the laundry and petito vehicle. And then also too, people have been combing through the background of this video, trying to figure out uh, exactly uh, what, what they can see. And there's a lot of people trying to enhance this video on Reddit and on TikTok. But I don't want to get too far away from the matter at hand here, folks. We'll talk more about this video here on the back end of the press conference. I want to stay here focused with you and stay here on the left side of your screen, show you the press conference so that the moment somebody steps up to the microphone here, we can listen in and find out what the update is. So split screen here, live from Grand Teton National Park here on the left wow. side of your screen. On the right side of your screen, this was earlier today in Wyoming. Uh, they have been using all means possible here. Oh, I think we have them walking up to the podium here, folks. Let's listen in. Oh, this is it, guys. Brace yourselves. Good afternoon. My name is Charles Jones. I'm the supervisory senior resident agent um, here in Wyoming for FBI Denver. Standing with me here today are Acting Chief Ranger Matt Wilbur with the National Park Service, um, Hunter Bailey, who is chief of the National Park Service Investigative Services Branch. Um, we also have Teton County Sheriff Matt Carr and Jackson, Jackson Police Chief Michelle Weber. First and foremost, on behalf of the FBI personnel, and our partners, I would like to extend sincere and heartfelt condolences to Gabby's family. Oh. Joe and Tara Petito and Jim and Nicole Schmidt. Mm -hmm. As every parent can imagine, this is an incredibly difficult time for the family and friends. Our thoughts and prayers are with them. We ask that you all respect the privacy as they mourn the loss of their daughter. As you are aware, FBI personnel in coordination with our partners at National Park Service, the Forest Service, Teton County Sheriff's Office, and Jackson Police Department have been conducting an investigative activity in the vicinity of the Spread Creek um, dispersed camping area. Earlier today, human remains were discovered, consistent with the description of Gabrielle Gabby Petito. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. The cause of death has not been determined at this time. We appreciate your continued support and patience as we work through this process. The vicinity around Spread Creek Campsite will remain closed to the public until further notice. This is an active and ongoing investigation, so we ask everyone maintain distance from law enforcement personnel and equipment, okay. vehicles and related activity for their own safety as well as to protect the integrity of our work and respect privacy for Gabby's family. We appreciate the tremendous support from the public. Uh, the support from the public's response to requests of tips has been remarkable. We continue to seek information from anyone who utilized the Spread Creek dispersed camping area between the dates of August 27th and August 30th. Um, anyone that may have had contact with Gabby um, or her boyfriend or who may have seen their vehicle in that area. Please share any new information with the FBI at tips.fbi.gov or 1-800-CALL-FBI. And finally, the Denver Field Office Direct is 303-629-7171. Photos and videos can also be uploaded at fbi.gov backslash petito. We thank our partners at the National Park Service, the U.S. Forest Service, Teton County Sheriff's Office, and Jackson Police Department for their collaboration and diligence in this investigation. They surged their resources 
um, in a very short amount of time, and their personnel have been intimate or have intimate knowledge of the rugged terrain that we're dealing with, um, which made this process much more difficult. We greatly appreciate the invaluable skill and expertise of the Teton County Search and Rescue Team. We also thank the community of Jackson and the surrounding areas for the hospitality and for accommodating a rapid influx of person, law enforcement personnel in the area. In order to protect our investigative process and increase probability of successful prosecution should it be necessary, we have no additional comments. We appreciate your cooperation and respect for Gabby's family, loved ones, um, during this uh, difficult time. Thank you. All right, guys. It's been confirmed. It is Gabby. And this is so heartbreaking. This is very heartbreaking. I know you guys are feeling exactly like I do right now. And your heart's just been ripped out. So this is our confirmation, guys. And I will, um, well, first I, I want to ask a couple of questions. What do you think happened? And do you think this happened before the 27th? or after that's another thing that i've always wondered anyway guys i gotta this is a little bit much i know you guys are all heartbroken sorry i had to bring you this but this is the confirmation thanks guys